In this video, I will show you how to trigger stored procedures in Talent. We will be using this TDBSP component, where DB stands for database and SP for stored procedure. So let's head over to Talent to see the example. In Talent, I've got the job open already. Uh, besides opening and closing the database connection, here in the last step, I'm executing a, a stored procedure. And this stored procedures content is uh, the return value is shown on the console. And the return value is basically of uh, the result of this query here. That from the table that I create above, um, I do a select count asterisk into count. And this is then shown on the console. So then in case the procedure already exists, I drop it. And in the very first step, I basically create in the table uh, at all for the example to use, which is here called uh, SP uh, demo. So let's now implement this together. I've got an empty job here with, well, pretty much empty job with a pre-job and post-job components. And we will, first of all, uh, establish the database connection to be able to use that in several components. And then add a DB close component as well, which is this one here where I select the a database type, hit apply, select the component from the component list and connect this to post job component so that this is fine and we're good to go for this part. Now I want to take a row generator to really have a simple, simple data set with an ID and a name. But first of all, I go to schema because here for these two columns, uh, they are going to be written to the database. Uh, I also want this to be key and I want this to be integer and most of all here define a length of, for example, 10 and 50. Now in the row generator editor, I can select simply these two functions, so-called functions here to generate some data, which is numeric sequence with the default values and talented data generator get first name without any further parameters. And then most of all, so that this select count asterisk makes some sense. I don't want a fixed number of rows here, but I want to use the numeric uh, dot uh, random. And this has two parameters. And uh, it's a min, a max value between which to create a random number. So we will always create between 100 and 1000 rows. And I can hit OK. Just briefly output this to the uh, console to see if everything is uh, fine. For example, 959, 158, and so on. You see it, there we go. And now I can add a DB output component, all again by dragging and dropping my database component here, uh, my database connection here, and converting it to DB output component. Now here I select use an existing connection. I select the corresponding connection and here I want to use a table, okay? Context.table. Let me simply call that and here do a drop table if exists and create. And one more thing that I have to do here when I explicitly use a connection, I also have to explicitly uh, commit the data but not close the connection at the end. And then the trigger on component, okay, should be uh, doing the commit. So now I run my job again. Uh, I forgot to define this variable table. And this table I call SP demo. I can run this job. We have 831 rows now in, or should have 831 rows now in our table. So we will do what also our stored procedure would do to see if this is correct. And we have 831, which is good. So now move. let's move this further down because we will place some other things here. Uh, first of all, we have a, a DB row component that we're going to add. The DB row component allows us to do uh, many types of things, many uh, statements on the database uh, that we could also execute on the database itself. 
but in this case I prefer to do that in talent so I have everything in one single place. Here I can again put the table name so I just write context and dot table and here again uh, sorry here in the query field uh, I will put something like this so drop procedure if exists and then sp count but in this case uh, I don't want this to be the fixed name uh, here of the procedure as well as the table uh, I want to put a variable here I will call that for example sp and the name of it would be sp count so I change that slightly what do I do I instead of this fixed value here I add double quotes two pluses some spaces here in between and then I write context dot sp and so the stored procedure name will be inserted here and oh by the way I got to select the respective database connection as well and then on sub job okay I will do this and then we can copy and paste this component and do pretty much the same which is basically recreating the um, stored procedure right so it's in this uh, statement here similar to the drop statement uh, it has here the uh, procedure name so again here I can add some double quotes some spaces and some pluses in the correct order and here I can write context.sp and here I can write uh, do the same again uh, for a context dot a table all right so now this here is a step before this so it should have a trigger uh, on sub job okay and last but not least now here we're going to use the stored procedure uh, component right dbsp uh, sometimes there may be an error when you want to create that. I don't understand why, but it's maybe a bug in talent because other moments you can just insert the component. So in case that happens again, also to you, just be aware of this, that usually closing the job and opening it again uh, fixes the error. All right, and then here also trigger on sub job okay should trigger the procedure, then here use an existing connection and select which connection to use and then here for the sp name write context.sp really simple and for the schema we have one column that returns the count which is called cnt and it's of type integer so we define that as a schema in talent and we can select a, a logo component here and switch that to table mode and here in parameters we have to assign uh, what is count and what type is count okay um, count is a out type a variable so it's returning some value from the stored procedure into this field and then showing it on the console well that's pretty much it for the example so we are now ready to execute in this jump again and we should now able to be able to see that this number here that it shows in talent 718 is the same as we see here on the console and we should also sorry here uh, be able to verify uh, on the console itself right so that's it on how to trigger sold procedures in talent they can have inputs outputs or in out variables or uh, data sets uh, as parameters. Uh, if you have any questions, search in the Q&A or feel free to send me a message. Now it's your turn. Try it out and see you in the next video.